Hi. In this video, we're going to look at a more complicated example of an indeterminate limit. Uh, this is um, exam worked out for you in um, the homework sections. And it's, it's example 1D in the more indeterminate limits section. And it is the limit as h approaches 0 of 2 over 3 plus h quantity squared minus 4 ninths all divided by h. This seems kind of odd in some respect, but uh, this form will actually become important later on. This uh, limit as h approaches 0 will have a specific name when we deal with specific functions, and that'll be down the road a little bit. Uh, so right now we're just doing the algebra of it, not worrying about what the application for the moment. So in this case, I just have to do a bunch of algebra and, re and simplify this. So limit as h approaches 0 of, this becomes 4 over 3 plus h quantity squared minus 4 ninths all divided by h. I will multiply numerator and denominator of the large fraction by the common denominator of everything. So I get 4 over 3 plus h quantity squared minus 4 ninths all divided by h. And I'm going to multiply the big fraction by 9 times 3 plus h quantity squared over 9 times 3 plus h quantity squared. It may have been a while before you have, or since you have seen some of this algebra, so I'm kind of going through this. It's part of the reason why we are doing the example. Limit h approaches 0 of, when I distribute this through, I get 4 times 9. Minus, when I distribute here, I get 4 times 3 plus h quantity squared all over 9h times 3 plus h quantity squared. Which then gives me 0 of 36 minus 4 times, and I'll square out the binomial, 9 plus 6h, don't forget the middle term, plus h squared, all divided by 9h times 3 plus h quantity squared. I can leave that. This becomes 36 minus 36 minus 24h minus 4h squared over 9h times 3 plus h quantity squared. Simplify. Um, at h approaches 0, these 36s cancel. And I can get, I can factor out an h, and I'm left with negative 24 minus h squared, uh, minus 4h squared. I could have factored a 4 also, but that's not that important at the moment. Uh, so negative 24 minus 4h over <clears throat> 9h times 3 plus h quantity squared. The h's can reduce. I'm left with limit h approaches 0, negative 24 minus 4h over 9 times 3 plus h quantity squared. Notice at this point, I have no problems. My original limit was indeterminate. I would have gotten 0 over 0. Now it is no longer indeterminate. We can evaluate and we get then 
negative 24 over 9 times 9, which is 81. And then to reduce it, I end up with negative 8 over 27.